Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 8 German aircraft carrier, the Graf Spee. We're playing the rank battle on the map Trident and uh, as you can see I am a CV against a cruiser in this 1 versus 1 ranked. It is a rather small map. I am gonna head closer because I am a full secondary build and these secondaries are quite dangerous. I suppose I should try to hide behind an island to uh, before getting closer because you know he can fire at me from quite far away and I can't fire quite as far okay time to uh, find him it's probably right there right no over there okay so I started with my rocket planes because rocket planes are the easiest to deal damage with. And 8000 damage. We're gonna be able to do a second drop and then we're gonna try to launch... Um, I think we'll go with die bombers. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to basically stop behind that island, more or less somewhere around there so he can't see me and uh, so that I can just keep dropping him and if he comes close I'm gonna start disengaging and just secondary him to death oh he actually used the fighter plane interesting I'm not actually sure how I should handle him using a fighter this does complicate things slightly in that I have to actually fly away you see, Graf Zeppelin's uh, planes are so fast that they can quite often neutralize a lot of the uh, fighter planes of the enemy, which is quite effective. Also, I'd like to point out that the enemy hipper is at 20k HP at this point. Oh, okay, one of them is gonna get shot down before I get to drop. But the other one still got a citadel hit. I mean, he's down to 16k HP, he really has no chance of surviving even the assault of the planes. The question is whether I should go and try to finish him off with my secondaries, because that would be kind of cool, right? Oh, I started to drop a bit late. But I think it doesn't really matter at this point. I feel like he's kind of screwed. So... You might notice that the rockets deal a lot less damage now compared to what they did at the start. That's because... Uh, oh my god, that was bad. That's because the uh, there are easy sections to damage on a ship when the ship is full HP. But once it takes some damage, it becomes a lot more difficult to damage those portions because, well, they've already run out of HP. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I need to start moving my CV. Because otherwise I'm gonna get torpedoed. Also, I can't manual secondary select while he's doing that? Wow, that's surprising. Anyway, I guess we'll finish him off with our secondaries then. That's kind of unfortunate. I, th I figured I could at least click on him when he... Uh... Wait, what are these secondaries aiming at? Definitely not the actual ship, huh? Anyway, he he's dead. He he Look at this. Look at the damage that's gonna happen here. Okay, I'm gonna take the one torpedo. Oh no. What will I ever do here? He launches a second set of torps. Oh no. What will I ever do here? Again. It it's kind of irrelevant. Especially when he shows the bow. Although, look at this. The secondaries are aiming at the wrong spot. They're like aiming off the side of the ship. This is actually a lot closer than I would like it to be. That's unfortunate. Let's dodge some torpedoes and... Uh, thank you for the uh, nice ending, Hipper. And there she goes. To the secondaries. Well, I don't think he had much of a chance, although I, I, I have to say that I think manual secondaries are probably not the most appropriate for uh, this kind of a setup, because it seems that 
Well, I can't actually fire those secondaries if I am uh, out from... If I'm still flying the planes, so I guess we'll have to respec that. Unfortunately. So, air supremacy, plane speed, survivability expert, because this this helps both planes and the uh, and the what's this, what's it called the ship itself. And I guess now we have four points left over. Maybe I should go concealment this time, or I guess I could go. Aircraft armor, although I'm not sure how much that matters. I guess basic firing training, right? Because, I mean, come on. More secondaries, obviously. Maybe high alert? Nah, we'll go... Hmm. Last gasp. Well, more engine boost on the planes is always nice, right? I don't think... Yeah, this only affects main armaments, right? Not secondaries? As far as I know, the speed of all armaments as the ship's HP decreases. Does this include secondaries? I don't know. I'm gonna believe what the game says. I bet it's wrong, but you know, sometimes you have to blindly trust things that you shouldn't blindly trust. Maybe I should go this skill. 40%? How much? How long is my damage control party? 60 seconds. So if I got that one, it would last for 84 seconds. That could be quite nice, but. Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go for damage control. Because this means that my damage control party lasts for 84 seconds. And this is kind of important because fire damage actually is kind of dangerous on a CV. You see, the fire damage might disappear very quickly, but you deal a lot of damage very... Uh, that is, you take a lot of damage from that fire damage. I believe it's like 5%, but it's only in like 5 or 10 seconds. Okay, the question is now, what do I do? Because the Tirpitz has these pesky things called torpedoes, and uh, that is going to be somewhat annoying, and his secondaries are slightly better than mine. Perhaps I should go hide a little bit early on, and then decide what I want to do based on what happens. I'm gonna start out with torpedo bombers, because they should deal more damage early on. Or at least it'll be easier to hit the uh, Tirpitz with them early on because, well, he's gonna be an uh, open water at the start, whereas next drops he's obviously not going to be in open water anymore. You know, when he appears be between these islands, for example, he can try to minimize some of the torpedo bomber effectiveness. Basically, I just I will just try to whittle her down. I don't know if I want to engage with a battleship in a secondary duel. Especially this one, since she already she herself has good secondaries too. Oh, she's actually trying to be annoying by dodging and whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna just boost away here and hope the fighters just don't engage me. Oh, okay, the fighters engaged the uh, terbits. So, okay, the point is he's gonna turn back. Why? Because he wants to get to the cap zone, right? The longer he takes to get to the cap zone, the more time I have to just eat him alive. And he basically has to do something about it. Like, if he turns away here, that increases the amount of time that it takes for him to try to cap. And he would have to hope to eventually engage my ship or something. And the thing is, he can't shoot through islands. I can. Well... I can shoot over them, or rather, I can launch planes that just... Look, see? He made the mistake of turning away even further. Now, he's actually sailing further away from the cap zone. Which is obviously not ideal. And this gives me extra time. Okay, that was a poor drop on my end. But we're gonna try again. You have to get the marker slightly over the ship so that you drop from high up. That way you're more likely to get the citadel hit. Let's pull them back. I should probably reposition my ship slightly. I mean, he's at half HP at this point. And some of it is with citadel damage, meaning that that's not something he's going to be able to heal up. 
The Tirpitz obviously would like to get close, right? Because that's when she can deal so much more damage with torpedoes and whatnot, but we're going to try to prevent that. Although our secondaries should be quite effective at some point when we do engage with secondaries. Some more citadel hits. I guess I should use use up my boosts as well, because, you know, might as well at this point. I think I'm going to pull back the planes after this. Two reasons. One, to control my CD again, because I really don't trust the autopilot. And number two, well, the planes would run out of... Um, the planes won't have enough... What's it called? HP to do another drop, at least not a full drop. I could maybe drop one torpedo bomber or one plane, but it's probably not worth it. He's inside the first cap zone, but he's at 29,000 HP. Oh, there's a fighter plane. That's somewhat annoying because this is gonna block the drop here, I think. Maybe the fighters will... No, the, my fighters are too far away. I thought that was closer. I just wasn't paying enough attention there. That is unfortunate. Fighters are engaging, so I'm gonna just heal while sailing or going away at full speed. Oh boy, I actually missed that drop quite badly even. Damn. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm gonna do this drop at an awkward angle. I expect he'll just turn in based on this. Okay, and I should probably start heading in this direction. And launch the dive bomb. Oh, actually I missed the... Wait, what? How did I miss by that much? What the hell? It didn't seem that bad at all. At that, at least when I was doing the drop initially, but I guess we'll finish her off with the dive bombers. Well, not this time, but the next one, probably. Wait, I'm actually... Oh, never mind. I was like, wait, my ship is spotted? How? But no, it's not the ship. It's the, uh, it's the planes. And I, I do understand why the planes are spotted. I mean, would be kind of scary if they weren't spotted at this stage, right? And, uh, I'm sorry, Terpitz, but I think you're in trouble. In fact, at this point, I can probably finish him off with my secondaries. Let's launch some, um... What are these called? Rocket planes? To deal some extra damage. I mean, the CV can basically just play a ring around the Rosie forever. Oh, his engine got broken, so he can't even move anymore. That's so unfortunate. I bet he's having a lot of fun. I mean, I really applaud the person who came up with this idea. Like, like isn't it a lot of fun to fight CVs as a battleship? In a one versus one? I would imagine it is, right? I mean... You get to take damage, and you get to take damage, and uh, you get to never see your opponent, and I think it's I think it's quite engaging, you know, on par with detonations. So we got the cruiser, we got the battleship, um, I feel sorry for this guy, honestly. I'm gonna go word the adversary, just because I feel bad for him. Let's hope this is a destroyer now, okay? Oh no, it's... It's a battleship. Wait, please tell me it wasn't this guy, because that would be very, very unfortunate. I should probably head in that direction. Although maybe that direction would be good too, but... I like the bigger island over here more. Hmm, what strategy should I use? Actually, I want to be able to run away. Yeah, no, I think this direction is actually better. So, we're going to start with Torpedo Bombers again. Now, I would like to use my secondaries, but I think I'm going to lose against the battleship in a straight-up fight. The main reason is that my concealment is so poor that she'll be able to engage me like six kilometers away. And this means that I'm just going to be at like half HP the moment we actually meet up, whereas she won't be. Actually, planes might help with that. On that note, though, 
thing is that she also has better uh, armor, so that helps. And like I said, uh, the enemy tirpits last time going sideways, or actually even slightly backwards, was a big mistake. Because what she needs to do is get towards me as quickly as she can. Not do any kind of sailing away, because the torpedoes don't deal that much damage early on. And it's not worth trying to dodge, like right now. This guy is locked going that way because of the giant island in the way. He, he really can't do anything about that anymore because he already turned too much. He can't turn away. He, he should have just taken those torpedoes. I mean, look, he's literally sailing away at this point, right? And he's going to do that. And this makes the fight really difficult for him because he can't exactly, you know, do much about it. And this is why torpedo bombers are also very nice, because it forces the enemy to turn. And now I'm gonna go and follow up with uh, bombers. And he doesn't have a response for the bombers, because you can't turn to dodge those. But he's already sailing in the other direction, meaning that I gained a lot of time from this. And if I, for some, for some reason, manage to knock out his engine or something... He's even more screwed, because at that point, you know, he doesn't have... Oh, I started to drop way too early. Whoops. He can't, you know, follow the ship anymore, or try to get closer to the cap anymore. Okay, we're gonna be able to do this drop rather nicely, hopefully. That was not a good drop. I should slowly move forward. Let's go follow up with more bombers. This seems really fair, I think, right? I mean... I bet you're having a lot of fun right now. Having CVs versus... Sure sounds like a recipe for lots of fun. I do need to make sure that I actually move my CV though, because eventually, you know, he's gonna get closer. I, I probably should have gone to the other side after all, because the bigger island would have made it easier to play Ring Around the Rosie if necessary later. You know, like last time, the island basically covered me rather well. And of course, if necessary, I can always just use my secondaries. And you know, I don't have to pick only one, I can go... Wow, overpens again. Dang it, that's unfortunate. Let's go torpedo bombers again, make him turn weird ways again. Although, this time I seem to be dealing a lot less damage. As in... I seem to be less effective. But the thing is, right, even if I lose this fight against that battleship because he manages to close the distance and whatnot, how is that ever going to be fun for the battleship? Because he can't do anything while I just drop him over and over. He can't even see me, right? That's, that's a huge issue in my opinion. I think he's gonna run aground here, actually. Yeah, he's definitely running aground, although I think he's gonna avoid the torpedoes. Somewhat, at least. Never mind. And hello, Tirpitz! I noticed that you, you, you have some trouble maneuvering right now. So this should make my drop slightly easier, right? And I guess we'll launch some more torpedo bombers then. Surprisingly though, I haven't actually got any floodings yet. But I mean, I've already done 47k damage and I don't... I honestly don't see what he can do. You, you know what would be kind of funny? If Wargaming actually made like bots, like battleship bots and destroyer and cruiser bots to fight against the CVs? so that they don't actually have to fight against real players, because real players will absolutely hate having to fight the CV. That would be kind of funny, although 
I am just... I'm just talking random crap right here, so... Don't take my word as a CC here that this is something they're doing. I have no idea. I don't think so, because this would be a pointless waste of resources for them. I mean, after all, uh, playing against CVs is fun and engaging, right? I suppose he has got the caps on though, so... You know, time is technically in his favor. So the longer he can survive, the better. Should probably slowly start moving even further. Just in case, so that there's an island between me and him at all times. I should have probably been closer to that island. This would have made the maneuvering easier. In fact, at this point, I think I should actually be able to start going closer. As in, I mean, if I had been there, I wouldn't have to maneuver right now at all, because I would obviously be 100% covered. And I would be slightly closer, so the drops would be slightly faster. Also, I noticed that he doesn't have a fighter plane, and this is why you take a fighter plane, especially in this game mode, okay? Like, you really want the fighter plane in this game mode. As a battleship. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna use the scout plane anywhere, right? So, take a fighter plane, please. Yeah, see, he has a scout plane. Unfortunately, that's not gonna save him. For him, I mean. It's fine for me that it doesn't save him. Do I finish? Do I try this drop? Because one of them is gonna get shot down. Probably. Ah, screw it. Let's try. Also, he doesn't seem to have any anti-air upgrades or anything like that, so that's not helping him either. Wow, that was actually a very poor drop by the uh, by the planes. I guess I'll start heading closer, uh, like directly. Although actually, this is getting kind of sketchy, because he does have so many points, and I'm kind of out of uh, bombers. So if he actually is hugs this island closely enough, he might be in a very good spot. I should have probably dropped a fighter plane earlier there. To know where he is. Oh, okay, never mind. He didn't hug the island. That's a mistake. But I mean, he is getting points rather quickly. Ouch. Yeah, he's dead, I think. Yep, and there it goes. Well, I'll try one more. And I'll, 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 I'll do a secondary fight this time, okay? I'll do a full secondary fight. Regardless what ship it is. Uh, unless it's a CV. If it's a CV, I'm obviously... Uh, okay, I'm gonna actually attack with planes, but I'm gonna go close for a secondary. Yeah, see, a Bismarck is a better choice because for me to f do a secondary fight with. Because a Bismarck actually has uh, doesn't have torpedoes, so I can go close and do all those crazy things. Um, I'm gonna start with... So, I'm not gonna go straight at him. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go behind that island. So this is not an optimal strategy to win. Uh, I'm gonna drop him with my bombers. And I expect him to just sail closer. I'm gonna hide behind this island there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide until he gets close enough so that I can just go secondary him. But obviously I'm gonna deal damage to him as much as I can with planes and secondaries both because he's gonna shoot me with main guns, right? Besides, he also has heals and whatnot, so those help as well. I think he's actually gonna spot me before, uh, before I can get behind the island. So that actually is gonna give him some information on where he should go to get close to me. You know, I really need to learn how to drop with these bombers properly at some point. I think that could be very, very helpful. Overpen. Okay, never mind. He's not gonna spot me. Torpedo bombers next. I don't understand why he isn't sailing in a straight line directly towards the cap zone because look if you turn you slow your ship down and you go at an angle which 
makes you take even longer to get to the cap zone. I could understand if I had gone there with torpedo bombers, like I am doing right now. And he would then, you know, turn left and right to try to dodge them and whatnot, but those were bombers. You can't dodge those, at least you might be able to on other, in other nations, but you can't dodge Germanons. Look, this guy as well, why are you doing this? You're supposed to get the cap zone as quickly as possible, dude. If you don't get to the cap zone as quickly as possible, you're gonna lose. You need the points, because the CV can basically perpetually run away because they can just run behind an island. I think that was not a good drop. I need to reverse here slightly. He is not within secondary range yet, also he is not exactly secondary fighting HP yet. Maybe I should actually use my other bombers to... the rockets, I mean, to soften him up with the secondaries, that is, so he doesn't have as much secondary power as I do. Wow, I seem to only be getting overpins. I suppose that's good for him, huh? He is getting close enough, so perhaps I should go soon? I'm probably gonna lose this one, but I'll try anyway. I think once I'm close enough, I'm not gonna use planes though, because I want to be able to move my ship properly. Let's go with torpedo bombers again. He is getting close. The other thing is that when a ship is very close, it's kind of difficult to drop them because they'll be within anti-air immediately. That is, the planes when launching from the CV and when returning to the CV. He's actually slowing down, is he? Doesn't seem to be going full speed. Yeah, see, this is why you take a fighter plane, okay? Oh no, he actually seems to be going full speed after all. Wait, am I running into an island? Really? Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot to stop turning. God damn it. <sighs> oh, he's actually flooding. Why is he still flood? Oh, he's gonna come towards me, hopefully, now. He knows where I am, so he should. And then we can do our secondary duel. Well, those fell short. <laughs> if he rams me, that's a draw, right? He did actually get the cap zone, so perhaps he might actually play on time at this point. Oh god, that was a bad drop. Why would you fire? Bismarck, what are you doing, dude? You don't have the HP. Yeah, actually, I don't have the HP to fight him. I need to use the planes. See? That's why I need to use the planes. Also, I'm really surprised that those AP shells did so much damage. I think I've... Yeah, it seems like I'm gonna lose pretty badly at that. Yeah, definitely can't fight the... Bisco. Oh, yeah. This ain't happening. If this was like a Yamato, maybe. Because his secondaries or his main batteries would be slow enough that he wouldn't be able to turn, right? The guns, but... The Bismarck? Not gonna happen. Oh well, seems like secondary is, is not good enough, so you probably do want to use the um, planes to just kill the enemy. But I wanted to find out, you know, because I, I absolutely could have just fought him with my planes only. I could have just run around the island like I did, well, to everyone else. But I was hoping that maybe his guns would deal less damage. Unfortunately, that's not the case. As you can see, AP 43k, so that's the problem. Oh well. I mean, secondary-wise, I did 5k, and Fires did like 1900, and he did what? 12k? See? 
that could have been doable maybe, but with uh, main guns in play, I guess not. Oh well, at least it was fun to figure out whether uh, this would work or not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Ikaros. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.